the operations like the the thing which you have to make sure of apply, applying the operations are the first element in the array must be one okay must be one that is one thing which you have to make sure right we will make sure that and also the absolute difference between two adjacent elements should be less than equal to one which means if i have two elements right here so either they can be same or they have a difference of one are in why not two one because like you saw that the first element must be one so i'm just considering this as the first element and then the next element i'm just picking okay it can be a one or a two but max to max it can be a two now there are two types of operation which we can perform that first is decrease the value of any element of arr to any smaller value so i can just decrease the value that is one i can decrease the value and other is i can rearrange in any order which means i can just do the rearranging in any order i can just do the shuffling now i have to return the maximum possible value now if we just go and imagine the same thing now this are the two things which we can achieve starting because it is a starting value so we know very well sure that we can achieve these two formats either same or more now if i want to achieve the maximum possible value then it is evident right that if i have four numbers so i will always try to place the maximum possible value one next maximum possible values is two although i can also place the one here but i'm saying okay i'll just try and i'm trying to place the maximum possible value okay if it is three now like i can place a three which is the next possible maximum value next i can place a four so you saw that okay i'm just always trying to place a next possible maximum value which is nothing but what's the value i had previously plus one but aryan okay so with this concept your answer should have been and uh, like whatsoever the size of the array is that should be the answer which is n so is that the answer i'll say no because here i just assume that i'm putting a one and then i assume that i'm putting a two i did not consider the array itself i have my array as a benchmark what if what if my array itself has an element like one one uh four like one one eight and nine so if my array had an element like 1, 1, 8, and 9, so no matter what I do, I cannot make this 1 or 2. I cannot increase a value. Let's say it was the array element. I am hoping my array should look something like this finally, so as to obtain the maximum element as 4. But for that, for sure, I need to increase 1 to 2. That I cannot do. So I have to take minimum of what I have and, I have, and what I expect to be. So for sure, what will happen is this will modify to one now if this modifies to one for sure the later part will also be modified so the later part will actually become now okay what was the previous value i can just increase that value to one okay previous value was one add a one you can obtain a maximum value of two here now so how we got this we got this by just saying okay what's the pre what's the previous value just pre just have that pre like value which is pre like pre uh, previously to us just have that value which is previously to us and then add a one to it and same i just can say okay previous value is two i can add a one i can get a three so this is how we can get the new maximum value again make sure that whatsoever you are expecting i expected a two but I have a one. So I have to take the minimum of both of them. And then I have to place a one here. So now I will say, okay, at this location, which is error of one, I'll place a one. And then moving forward, I can use this previous value, which is, which is prev, to actually compute the next value. So this next value will be nothing but my prev value plus one. Again, when I'll just take minimum of both of them, minimum is again two. So my prev will become a two. My prev will become a two. And then this two will actually make Make sure i use when i'm computing for the next element i'll make sure that this next value will be nothing but pref plus one so it will be two plus one which is three and now i'll take minimum of three and nine okay i'll get a three and that will be my answer so i'm just trying to modify my input array but rn okay 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 now also you imagined one thing you considered an one thing that it is sorted can you sort it yeah i can I can rearrange the elements of error in any order. So what I can do is I will simply sort this stuff out, which is 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. Now I'll start from the very beginning. I know that initially I can have a 0 as the previous because I know that if I will add a 1 in my previous, it will actually become a 1. So I know, okay, I'll just simply add a 1 here. So now my element which I have to compare, which is next element, this is the next element, it will actually become a 1, which means simply adding with the previous 
simply adding a one to my previous previous was zero so now i'll just compare one and one minimum is one simply okay the current element i'll replace by one cool i'll just go on next next i'm expecting to have a two but i'll take minimum oh bro it's a one sorry bro sorry i'm really sorry it's a one minimum is one so for sure i can only place a one here i'll place a one here cool i'll go next i'm expecting a two now okay minimum i mean i took minimum it's two okay i'll just leave it here now expecting i'm i'm expecting a three i'll take minimum uh bro a three you cannot have the two is maximum you can have okay cool place a two next i'm expecting a three because just is it says a previous plus one i'm expecting a new value higher value previous plus one take minimum bro 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 again you cannot take a two expecting a three oh it's over cool last element was ar of n minus which is the maximum element i could achieve was two same for this example one hundred and thousand i was initially the, the prep was zero i was expecting a one minimum i took it's a one okay cool move ahead i'm expecting a two minimum oh two is possible cool move ahead i'm expecting a three minimum okay three is possible move ahead answer is three for this case one two three four five same if the prep was zero initially i am expecting a one yeah true go ahead expecting a two yeah true go ahead expecting a three yeah true go ahead expecting a four yeah true go ahead expecting a five yeah true go ahead thus simply just check what's expecting value just say okay previous value plus one is the new expected value take the minimum of the current value of error of i and the pre and the value which is previously and just simply have your answer let's quickly and see it's just a o of n uh, we are not using any extra space so that space will be o of one itself cool uh, let's see it's pretty simple firstly as we saw that we have to uh, sort our entire array which is um, ar dot begin and ar dot end because we know that we have to like firstly we can rearrange that in any order and also we want this to be beginning with a very small value so that we can compare the small values now i know that uh, i need to have a previous so i'll just have the previous with the zero now i'll go on to every element in my arr now i'll just have a uh, say to that element that bro uh, just do one thing um, just check what is the current minimum value so for sure that minimum value will only get placed here so i'll just say okay bro minimum value is my current value which is this element um, or i can just keep it by address so this element will be nothing but ar and let's also have the n so that we can actually get that last element in just by just saying okay ar of n minus one so i'll just say that the current element will be nothing but uh, minimum of the element itself and also the current value which, I, which i'm expecting which is pref plus one i'm expecting a pref plus one and for sure uh, please put the pref as the element whatsoever you have got ultimately simply return the ar of n minus one and that should be your answer cool let's see let's quickly have this running yeah and by this you can simply get the solved i hope that you guys got it see you in the next video bye bye